And welcome back to Dark Zola Gaming and Hort Belleron. That's right, we are back here in France and we are continuing on with our farming. So, what we are doing is we still have this field here to plant. While well, the two fields we've planted our wheat in, which is fine. Uh, we also have some grass to mow because we just want to collect some more grass. That's always going to be handy. And our sunflower crops are in as well. So what we're going to do first off is I'm going to get the uh, hired hand here into the case IH. And we're going to get that um, off and running as well. So let's get that going. And then we're going to head on over and start uh, harvesting the sunflowers. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a header row at this end just because this is the angled edge of the field um, just means that the hired hand should hopefully turn a little bit better and without screwing things up all the time um, we may well run out of seed as well actually let's have a look um, what are we on field 37 so if I go in here and have a look at here seed consume uh, for wheat oh hang on uh, what did I say we're on? Uh, 37 right so field 37 show the seed consumed for wheat is 1140 no we should have enough that's okay all right so we're just going to go up here we'll get this uh this header done we'll do two headers on the side and then we'll just get the hired hand to go and then what we'll do is we will um go get the combine and, and head on over and start uh combining our smaller fields because then what we want to do is we want to um combine those fields as we said in the last episode and then from there we will um, get on over to our newer field over the back of the, of the other side of the river and we'll get that going as well all right let's get this one done just a little bit there but that's okay all right hope everyone is doing well and we're just going to crack on get this all done but yeah so um yeah, I hope everyone's well. We're currently going through a period where we just had the whole family uh, go and get PCR tests because uh, we've had uh, the kids um, have been uh, spent some time with friends and stuff over the last few days that have um, come back positive to COVID. Um, so we did a, a rat test, the rapid antigen test, and they all came back negative. But uh, these same friends did exactly the same thing, came back negative on the rapid antigen test. Um, and then got a PCR test and came back positive. So, and actually, in fact, did the, um, they did the rapid antigen test after they got their PCR test, did their PCR test. So, um, yeah, but anyway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wait and see. We got our PCR test done this morning as well. And uh, we're gonna wait and see how things go from that. But this is obviously, by the time you see this, this has been a couple of weeks down the track. Um, so, uh, I'll let you know at some stage how we're going, but if uh, you wonder why you've heard this just now, but you've heard the results earlier, well, that's the reason why. <laughs> anyway, all right, so he's going to continue on. We're going to finish seeding that field, so that'll be fine. Um, and we're going to head on over now and grab the combine, and we're going to head over and start getting all the fields harvested. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the draper header behind. There we go start the engine and I think what we'll do is we'll get on this and we'll do this field down here first uh, and I'm going to manually uh, harvest these fields um, because I think we, we might as well unfold and we're going to unfold the header there we go all right this was our big investment a couple of um, episodes ago we've had a couple of investments the last couple of episodes um, we bought the uh, new John Deere harvester. We also bought the new uh, case tractor, the Magnum 400, which we we're just using to seed the field. So, um, yeah, so the case Magnum were, and, and both the John Deere and the case Magnum actually were um, from the used sales. So, we got them at a discounted price. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we've done all right out of that. This thing, we got it at a, at a pretty good price, and maintenance-wise, it's actually not too bad. I mean, as you can see there on the maintenance scale on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, um, it's probably about one-third. Um, so that's not too bad. 
by uh, normal measure, so that's okay. We're, we'll deal with that, no problem. Anyway, so here we go. We've got the sunflowers coming in, so this will go from here straight to our oil processing facility and uh, for production of our sunflower oil. And then the sunflower oil will be produced and we'll settle that off in um, February, I think it is. Uh, I'll have a look at my list here. Sorry, March, April for sunflower, sunflower oil. March is the peak and the second best is April. So it'll be um, sold off in March. Uh, canola oil will be sold off in December if we've got canola oil being produced. I think we do have a little bit left, but we sold most of that off to um, finance. What do we buy that off to finance? We finance the combine. Was it a combine? Yes, it was a combine with that. So, all right. But we'll do the um so there's three fields here to do on this side of the uh the farm and then over the river there is our later latest field that we bought and that is uh full of sunflower as well so we'll go over there and we'll get that harvested so um we've got plenty of stuff to get done we've also got to deal with all our production points our, our pallets and stuff i need to go check on the chickens need to go well in fact well actually i haven't fed the chickens for a while that could be a problem you have to go feed the chickens. They're probably... <laughs> they're, I've probably killed all my chickens, to be honest. Uh, it's been a couple of days. And the last time I looked at them, they were, they were low. Um, I meant to feed them, but anyway. All right, we're going to put the hide hand on here now. Then I'm going to check my chickens. Um, because I think that's that's their dire. Yeah, they're dire. Right, let's, let's go get them fed. Right. Jesus, duck. Right. Now, I'm pretty sure they take sorghum, so we're going to get some sorghum, which we've just harvested. And um, we'll take that and feed the chickens, Jesus. Oh. Did they actually die? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, KFC, you got a whole pile of extra chickens. <clears throat> All right. Move on up here, grab some sorghum. It's only, the, it's only the one lot of chickens anyway, so it's not so bad. Um, as long as if we have multiple pens. So I'll just fill this up. There we go. We'll go off and uh, fill them up. All right, where's my flow I'm unloading right side? I might change that to the left side, actually. Right. Uh, it's upside back, grain door, left side, there we go, right, okay, look how rescue the chickens, there's some oil over there at the oil processing facility, which is good, so we definitely have some oil over there to put away, um, which means we've got money coming in, effectively, not directly, but effectively we've got money coming in, see how much these guys need, there we go, done, right, now we'll go back and put this back in the silo. Uh, the greenhouses are still producing. Not as if they need to be emptied off yet, but it's okay. And then we can check to see how the uh, the orchard has gone. Now we do want to put more orchards in. We did talk about that before. Um, and I'm definitely going to the field we're currently harvesting. Um, once that's harvested, I am going to uh, do some landscaping of that we're going to flatten it all out and that's where i'm going to put more orchards in so i've already decided that um, it's just a matter of uh, we can we can do the landscaping work uh, we just have to wait until we get the money to um to put the actual orchards in now i reckon what we can probably do is with the size of them i reckon we can probably put another four orchards in maybe um it just depends on how i go for um for spacing and stuff but that will be my plan to try and get four in so we'll, we'll carve away all this this hill and it'll become just flat extension of this area here um unfortunately i hadn't thought of this before i did the sheep but anyway that's that's okay um and then what we'll do is um we'll put those in in fact i may even be able to get if i'm really lucky Maybe get more than that in. 
it just leaves leaves up the rest of this field up here I can put some cows in um, I can put one lot of cows in there and we'll be okay right we're going to the other end of the field and we're going to empty the combine when he's finished this run there's not really don't really need to he's going not going to be full until he's finished this field I reckon to be honest We'll go and have a look and see how we're going with, um, I can't believe I did that with my chickens, my four chickens. Um, all right, so he's, well, probably just on halfway, coming up to halfway. So we're going to, 39 is going to be harvested, then we're going to harvest 42 and 40. As we're harvesting 42 and 40, we'll start working on here um, in, in um, the video, um, if we're doing it today, if we get a chance to do that today. Um, and then once we've harvested those, we'll start harvesting 36. And then when we're harvesting 36, we'll combine these fields together as well. So a um, bit of work. And then that basically will leave us with um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five fields. Um, and all of them are quite large. So that's, that's quite good. Now, I mean, we're only really turning around wheat and um, sunflower or canola at the moment. So that's okay. And then what we'll probably end up doing is I'll end up having to buy another field for grass, although we do get a fair bit of grass from around the fields. Um, I am also contemplating kind of removing the trees through here just to maximise getting the grass out of that area there. Um, nurse these areas up through here, I get I get a good, fairly good amount of grass and that will keep us going because, I mean, when you look at the grass we've got now, not that we're using a lot of it, um, we do have a fair amount sitting there, so that's okay. All right, what's he at? He's at um, he's only at fifty percent. So I'm going to I'm going to let him finish this field entirely. That's what I'm going to do. So what we might do is while he's doing that, we can start leveling this area out um, just in preparation. So now I know we're not going to be paying anything for the leveling and all that sort of stuff, but you just have to accept the fact that that's what we're doing. So sorry. All right, so let's get some of that done now, so you'll be able to see what we're doing there. All right, landscaping. Here we go. Now, here we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to extend it out to this level. So basically, what we're going to do is going to extend that out. I'm going to increase my strength of the tool. I'm going to increase the size of the tool there, and I'm going to set my level from there, and we're just going to come across like that. That's what we're going to do. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to change my tool to that. This is how we can get it done nice and quick. Now that, that's raised it, has it? Okay, so that's that's actually keeping it straight. That's at a higher level. Um, yeah, that's fine. I, I don't I don't mind that. We'll we'll build that up. So what we'll do is we'll pull that over to here. There we go. Come down. Wear all that off. So what we'll do is we'll just bring this out it'll only come out so far with the road which is fine we'll let it do it all the way out to the road well actually no the road didn't stop it at all there you go um okay well what we'll do is we'll still bring that all the way out there right and what we'll do is we'll get back into there
Okay, just double that off to there. Move that out. We'll just drop this out. We want to get the road back to. Oops. There we go. That's close. And just that little bit in there. There we go. All right. I think that'll do for that. Very good. Right. So he's finished combining all that. So let's just get the tool there for the moment. Let's go back to the combine. All right, what's that, 63%. Okay, let's get him going again. Oh, it's raining, so we're not gonna really do much more now, actually. So we're just gonna get him in here. I will actually harvest just a little bit. Right, get him off there. Right, there we go. Excellent, right. So while the rain hits, we will continue on with harvesting all this. So let's just quickly do this um, now. Right, so we want to demolish the fence. There we go, excellent, done. And then what we want to do is we want to come in here. In fact, that's a little bit lower. But I'm there, I've missed the level. Yeah, see, I've, I've, missed, I've missed on the level, so that's okay. What we'll do is we'll Come back in, we'll redo that. And get that done there. A bit bigger. I'm gonna make sure I grab that again. I'm gonna level that down. And that should bring it back down to the right level. That means we're gonna come across through here again. The level shouldn't be as high as what we've made it, but that's okay. We can deal with that. Right. I'm going to leave the road there as a the path through there. And the reason I'm doing that is we do need another way down to Emma's shop. And that will just provide that for us. Okay. I think we've got the levels wrong here again. I think it's reset itself. It does tend to sometimes sort of forget its marker if you let go of the tool and, and move around a bit. Let's see. No, it was pretty much right. I'm going to do these edges and then I'll go the bigger tool and just make sure we call the middle part properly. We don't want any big corrugations left in here. Just through there. So we're going to come in here now and I'm going to try and get this as closely aligned to our previous as we can. Okay. Right, where are we at now? Oh, I clicked off the window, so just, there we go. All right, so where do we go? All right.
think that's pretty close. Right, so we're going to go up to the largest one, and again, we're going to look with here. And that should, hopefully, I've got it relatively well laid out now, so that should be okay. Okay. Uh, yep, that'll be that'll be fine. Right. Well, very good. Right. We're going. In fact, I'm just going to let this guy go. Bugger it. We'll lose a little bit in the rain. I am going to fast forward just a little bit. Get out of that rain a little bit. All right. So that's where we're at. Uh, I've lost my OBS. Where's my OBS? There it is. Right. Okay. So that's where we're at now. Um, rain has stopped. Very good. Okay, so um, that gets this area all prepped, ready to go. So um, what we'll end up doing is we'll have a little pathway through here. Because um, we haven't really sort of aligned that fully. Whoops, don't want that. Let's uh, just get this. I'm going to get... Um... Well, actually, I don't know, because it depends on how we place things in here. Um certainly from here i was going to have this continue down through here as well so um what i might do instead is i might just go into here we're going to use the tool here like this and we've got there and we'll go to there square tool and we'll just put a ramp in here now if we need to move this we can move it it's not a problem Lost it. Okay. So there. Bring him over a little bit. All right. There we go. So that's got a nice little ramp into there. That's fine. And then hopefully, if we have a look now, you know, do a test placement of orchards, um, we'll be able to have one orchard. The plan would be to have one orchard there. Uh, if we can, so about there, and another one, I don't think it's going to fit, so the other way is going to be around this way, we would have one there, I think, I think we can get it to fit, but I think it's going to be a bit of a test on how to do it, so I think what we might do is put one there like so, Another one in there, which will be fine. And then it'll be one and one. And then hopefully we can build a bit of a ramp or a access point in here. Um, you know, in either case. Uh, so in fact, let's have a look at the placement. So that's, yeah, so it's a bit, bit wider than that. So. I don't think I'm going to fit two in that orientation. Definitely not through there like that. So I'm going to have to go with that orientation. One there like that. Another one there like that. And then correspondingly another two up there. All right, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for now. Let's get the combine finish off his job. And that'll be what we do. So we're we're prepped pretty much pretty much there now, ready to go. So that's good. Um, still gives us plenty of room to move around, maneuver, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm fairly happy with that. What we might do is while we're here, we'll just put in um, an extension of that fence. We don't want, don't want to fall down through here. Um, a chainsaw balancing up near my head is probably not a good thing either. Um, Decoration, I think it was that fence there. So we'll put that down to there like that. And then we'll bring that down to about there. Like so. And then I'm going to come across. I'm going to go from about there. 
again we're going to go up to about there i'll cut across that little bit of a gap there and then we'll go to there all right that's fine that will do now what we could do is just to pretty this place up a little bit here um bom, 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 bom. nope 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 don't want any of them trees uh no you know what i really sometimes it just doesn't look i'll put that in there like that, that looks all right there we go like that just a bit of greenery through there all good excellent right now i think we're done for that for now right have i bored you enough for that okay um and then we're close to the end of the episode so where are we at so he's at 97 percent so we're going to, need to offload him so i'm going to grab this and we're going to head down <clears throat> we'll offload him and then um well, that will be it for this episode i guess and then in the next episode we'll come back and uh, get into the big field i'll probably harvest the other small field over here um i'll harvest that one over here off camera and then we'll come back in the next game day i think we can still do that with our crop timings yeah we'll come back the next game day and um we'll harvest our other main field over here so we'll harvest uh, field 36 and we'll also as we're doing that we'll plow these in and join these um, and then we should be uh, good to go from that as well. So that's the plan moving forward. I um, hope you've enjoyed this episode. A uh, bit of planning ready for our next expansion. Um, we, it does take us away from uh, having a plot of land for the crops. But hopefully what we put in the way of an orchard will well and truly um, compensate us for the uh, loss of that, that field. Um, and I'm pretty sure it will so um but yeah let me know what your thoughts are down below we're gonna pretty that little area up a bit more and put some rock face on the on the side of it all that sort of stuff um make it look a little bit better but um yeah hope you've enjoyed the episode and if you did press that little like button if you didn't you can press the dislike button as well if it's still there uh and all that sort of stuff it doesn't faze me at all but um if you did like the episode and you do like the content then please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details down below in the description. And of course, most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Hot Belleron. See you all later. Bye.